LeBron James did an interview where he said, I was listening to those guys in my first year with the Heat in 2010, talking about Migos. You can ask any one of my teammates back then and they had no idea who the Migos was. I was like, I'm telling you guys, these guys are next. This is after takeoff was shot and killed. The only problem is their first mixtape was in 2011. <laughs> after this happened, it sort of set off a wave of people looking back at how many times LeBron has habitually lied. And he has no reason to, because the thing that's so crazy about all of this is that LeBron James is a multi-millionaire, almost a billionaire, basketball superstar for decades. He doesn't need to say that he was on the Migos before it was cool. He does, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't need that stuff. He already has enough clout, and yet he consistently lies for no reason. Yeah, I, I had one coach, um, and he used to say, "Put yourself in situations where you're not in, you're not comfortable." Oh Play yeah, that's my, um, <laughs> that's my favorite saying. That's my favorite saying. Yeah. You know what's funny is even if I never had any idea who LeBron was, it was just a random person in this clip. This just sounds like a lie. The way he says it right here. Oh Play yeah, that's my favorite saying. <laughs> it just sounds like somebody trying to jump on to make it about them, dude. Yeah, I don't know how far you are into the book, but what's your biggest takeaway so far? Um, I kind of just started a couple of days ago, um, but um, I've read and a lot of a lot of notes over the years. Um, it's my first time actually reading it from start to finish. Um, but just a very, um, very smart man. Very <laughs> the thing about LeBron in books is he is always on page one. Why Braun always on the first page? He's always posting pictures of him with books. But he's always on page one. <laughs> this one, I knew he would drop 70. I watched the whole game. I seen the whole game. I was at home watching the game. And, you know, I said he was going to, before the game even started, when I seen, uh, I said he was probably going to score 70 tonight. <laughs> I don't I don't know what made me say that. And my friends was with me, and they was like, okay. So when he got to, like, 70, I, I was like, well, he might as well go for 80 now. So, I mean. I'm a fan of the game. The Crazy season, call, LeBron. Runs. Crazy call. Just why, 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 why? Anyway, this is the iconic scene because this is what one of the most egregious lies. So it turned into a bunch. It turned into a meme. You know, when I first got to Miami in 2011, I just had a strange feeling that Osama bin Laden was hiding in a bought a bad Pakistan. <laughs> I told Coach Spo and D Wade about it, and they set up a meeting with Obama, and we got it done. Hashtag Just a Kid from Akron. <laughs> When my homie's girl asked if he was with me at a certain date and time. <laughs> He's now literally the face of lying. I remember talking to Lil Wayne in 2008 and he was working on a song called A Thousand. And I was the one who told him to upgrade that to a milli. <laughs> the rest is really history. Like what a king. I told Abe not to go to the theater, man. <laughs> Dude, LeBron James has been try out here trying to save people. And nobody believes him. He's like Cassandra, he's cursed. Yesterday and today about Godfather part two. Which is the, the scene or, or the moment or the phrase or the quote you like more from the movie? Oh, from The Godfather. Uh, um, it's, it's too many different phrases uh, and too many different lines in that movie to just uh, <laughs> categorize one. Um, but which is the one which inspires you? <laughs> Represent you more. I mean, each movie is nine hours long. I mean, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, there's so many. I don't know. I'll let you pick one and I'll roll with it. It's, it's a great trilogy. <laughs> that is a stupid question, but I feel like it wouldn't be that hard. I knew it was you. You know, I was like, oh, there's a lot of things you could say from a look what they did to my boy. Not a lot of things you could say when you didn't watch it. <laughs> You guys know Quack? Listen, I, I'm i literally doing a roast of LeBron right now, but I feel like when Quack says it, it's meaner. Quack, you're you're like a, you are a real hater. <laughs> you know, and I actually made a trip over, uh, you know, to Liverpool as well and, and, and see all the sites and, and the arena and, and everything. Um, so it was pretty, pretty unique. Yeah, Crouchy is actually a Liverpool legend. He used to play there. Liverpool. I don't know if you knew that. No, I knew that. I didn't get an opportunity to see him play when he was with the club, but I definitely knew I, I definitely knew that. The current captain, uh, Jordan Henderson, just scored his first goal for England the other day. It was uh, amazing to see you fan of his. No, absolutely. And I saw and I, I saw a clip of that, too. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to actually see the game live, mm. but um, I saw that he was able to score one in the, in the, in the match the other day. And I thought... 
Well, he's a real yes and liar. No matter what you ask him, he will always just lie and go with it, which is crazy. Because I can understand doing that if you are insecure. Like, I've probably done this in a conversation. Oh, I, I know a perfect example. I know a perfect example. I was at Twitch, and my boss at the time asked me about um, uh, Natural Selection 2, some random video game. And I was like, oh, yeah, that game rules. <laughs> I've never played that fucking game. I ended up having to go grind that game offline so that I could pretend to play with him later. LeBron James has no need to do that. He can be like, nah, man, I didn't catch it. Like, he doesn't have to lie. Why does he lie? Can confirm he capped him because this is me when I'm lying my ass off. Same facial features and expressions. <laughs> is this real? This can't be real. Thanks, bro. And that's a little dicky in the photo, but I appreciate it. We talked about this, right? We've seen this. We gotta get to the bottom of this. No, it's not real. Unfortunate. Oh, God, sad. Biggest lie to come out of his mouth. What's this? Two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Tell my number of rings? <laughs> Are you talking about championships? That's insane. Live look at LeBron reading a book. But I can <laughs> what is it? What, what it was happen? fast, so you didn't know. What, could... ju what just happened now? What, what, what did you learn from the book that you just read? <laughs> the first one is pretty good. I will, I will, I will chew your meat. Are you crazy? I will chew your meat. I just read. I, I can read fast. <laughs> you don't understand what you are reading. Then what's the point? But I can explain it. It's entertaining. I'll give you that. I remember waking up and feeling that something was off on December 7th, 1941. I wasn't sure what it was, but I knew something was in the air that day. It's like if we had just listened to LeBron throughout history, we'd all be better off. I remember the morning the Titanic departed from England. <laughs> I was supposed to be on that ship. They called it unsinkable, but I had a bad feeling. I turned into LeBron James during job interviews. <laughs> oh, the best one. We do 21 Savage, I think. No, it was, uh, it was J.I.D. So there was, there was this. Look at Cole's face, LeBron lying about something. J.I.D. himself responded and said, it's this little guy out of Atlanta named J.I.D. I found him on the east side, I think you should sign him. <laughs> Literally fucking J.I.D. out here roasting LeBron's ass. Uh, <laughs> I, told, I told JFK that the drop top wasn't a good idea the day before. That's dark. Yeah, this, this is what I'm thinking about. This is like, just sum it all up, right? LeBron James lying about innocuous stuff is the funniest thing to me because there's absolutely no reason for it. He doesn't need to curry favor with people. He doesn't need to boost his profile. He tells tall tales for the love of the game. <laughs> it really is. It's, I think he just loves lying. He, it's just so much different for someone to lie when they can get something out of it. I knew Big A shouldn't have gotten the tat. <laughs> I just had a bad feeling about that world. I once told my good friend Atrock that pirating Toy Story 3 would be a bad idea. I don't know why, but something felt off that day. <laughs> I wish I'd listened, bro. I wish I'd listened. God, I wish I'd listened. Late November 2007, I looked at my teachers and I told them, man, the housing market can't survive on this much credit. <laughs> LeBron James, the original big short. Why did you quit your other job? I was too good at everything there and I wanted an actual challenge. <laughs> Has anyone said something even close to this? I've had I've had a similar experience where it's like like when I was interviewing at, at Blizzard and Riot and um, and Nvidia, they kept asking like why I wanted to leave my job at Twitch. It was I remember it being a tough question to answer because you don't want to badmouth your current employer. You don't want to be like, oh dude, I hate this and I hate this. Recruiter here, a good one to say is something like, truth be told, I'm very happy where I am, but this particular company slash role is a dream job of mine. That's a great answer. It's an excellent answer. Telling McDonald's that. <laughs> to be honest, I'm currently super thriving, happy over at uh, Burger King. But I really see potential. This has been a dream job of mine to man the uh, golden arches. I believe companies best work when we see each other as family instead of coworkers. And I immediately sense that being here. <laughs> Don't ever say that. That's actually too far. Do not ever say that in a job interview. That's actually too far. I feel like I really need some struggle in my life and I sense a lot of struggle here. <laughs> That's interesting. 
subtly neg the interviewer. Yeah. I feel like this place is really <laughs> a real piece of shit. <laughs> and I think I can't make it worse, right? Rhythm there. What were you? Wait, what is this? Wait, one more, one more good LeBron lie, and then we're moving on. Never forget when LeBron saw three rounds, but through the grace of the man above was able to knock it down. What is this? About a minute left, the three. You didn't even look in rhythm there. What were you thinking as the ball left your hands? Um, you know, just um, you know, I put in a lot of work on my game. You know, um, you know, after you know, drape my uh, finger to the eye, I was literally seeing three uh, three rims out there. Um, so I just shot at the middle one, and, uh, and I was able to, uh, to the grace of the man above, I was able to knock it down. That's an amazing when in doubt, shot, go for the middle. Yeah. Rim. <laughs> Goated lie, if so. That's a good one. That's a lie we can all respect. <laughs> Eight million views. LeBron, when he gets an opportunity to lie. Anytime he starts to put his head down, all he's going to do is shoot the three. Let's see if he looks down. Yes, there he is. That's out to LeBron. There's that three. Got it. He's the GOAT, dude. He never misses a shot. If you're going to fumble the lie, you pass it to LeBron. If you don't know what was going on last night, if you don't know how to say it, just fucking say, oh, uh... LeBron knows, and he'll he'll fucking jump on that grenade.